yo people, what's good? I hope you're having a damn good day. I'm going to be doing my Premier League Team of the Season predictions. So guys, Team of the Season, obviously the formation is going to be a 4-3-3. So, four defenders, obviously one goalkeeper, four defenders, three midfielders, three attacking players. Sorted. So, in goal, it's, it's, it's a hard one because not one goalkeeper this season has been outstanding. Like, there's not been, oh my gosh, look at Edison, he's done this. Oh my gosh, look at Allison, he's done this. You know, it, it hasn't been one guy. Um, so, yeah, you can't really say it's definitely he's going to be this guy. So, this is a very up and down position. But the one guy who I probably could make a good argument for is Emiliano Martinez. Um, absolutely exceptional this season since moving from Arsenal to um, Villa Park. He, he's been great. So like He faces a lot of shots. He makes a lot of saves. Um, he's propelled Villa up the table. They fought off relegation last season. And because of him, they're sitting pretty, I think, nowhere near relegation. I'm not sure exactly where they are this season. Yeah, <laughs> um, but moving on, right back is going to be João Cancelo. Now, there's a lot of players that you could say, oh, but they could, they're better than that, him, and they are much better, and so on. I mean, Carl Walker, Trent Alexander-Arnold, who's not had a good season, so that's why I'm not even considering him. Um, Aaron Wan-Bissaka, Rhys James is a, is a clear one, especially with Chelsea's increase in form since Tuchel came in. But for me, it's João Cancelo, who's been part of uh, a back four that's definitely had the best defensive record in the league. He's totally different from what he was last season. I mean, last season people were like, oh, he's terrible, he struggles for consistency, he's doing this, he's doing that. And this season he's made that position his own. I mean, I know sometimes he plays as, as a left back, but for right back, he's up, he's the guy I'm going with. Um, yeah. Let me know though, down below, who, who you guys think should be better or let me know your team of the season down below why are you there smash like button thanks um and now for the center backs right the center backs is quite difficult um controversy i've gone with uh, ruben diaz fair and i've gone with harry Maguire. <laughs> Oh, you bias. Oh, you this. Oh, you that. No, uh, I've gone with Harry Maguire and Ruben Diaz. Ruben Diaz is obviously a, a, a shoe in He's been very good this season. He's assimilated so well to the Premier League. Um, and that that's absolutely madness. So, yeah, Ruben Diaz for me, definitely, definitely going to get into to the team of the season. Um, and obviously the more controversial one is Harry Maguire. Um, and... Yes, you might be right with some of the things that you say, but I think he gets unnecessary stick because of his price tag, also because he's English. Um, but it's not his fault that United decided to be idiots and damn will pay 80 million pounds. Anyway, but since since around December or so, um, Maguire's game itself, and you could see how United have also picked it up um, yeah, Maguire's just been exceptional since December. Maybe not exceptional, but he's been very consistent. He's cut out the mistakes. He's been very good at marshalling his, his back line. Yeah, so I, I, I do think he deserves it. And I mean, United are second for a reason. Um, we haven't had City's insane defensive record, but we've been, we've been up there in terms of our defense. So I've been impressed with him. Um, and I think he does deserve to get into the, the team of the season. Um, obviously, a, a good shout is John Stones, who's also been very good this year. So it was a toss-up between those two. Um, and I was kind of leaning towards slabhead Harry Maguire. So, yeah. Um, and then at left back, this is a one-horse race for me. You can't even compare any other left back in the league to this man. But um, Luke Shaw. Yes, Luke Shaw is the left back of the Premier League season, best left back of the Premier League season. Um, last season, like he improved his game and like I was like, okay, I'm impressed. 
bringing in Alex Tellers in the summer, I was like, Luke Shaw's going to sit bench, 100%, like 100%. And Luke Shaw was like, actually, no, we're not going to do that. I'm going to make the spot my own. And he did, he did. Guys, he, he was, he's been amazing. Like, there, there's not a left back in the Premier League at the moment that you can say has had a better season than Luke Shaw. Arsenal fans, oh, Tierney. Oh, Tierney's injured half the time, slow your roll. He's like 20 years old. Maybe in five years' time when you guys actually finish in the top half of the table. Ow. Ouch. Anyway, um, yeah, and I mean, Liverpool players like Robertson and Trent Alexander-Arnold, who are exceptional, just have not produced nearly anywhere near what they're capable of doing. So that's why, yeah, there's no... There, there, there's no hope for them getting into this team. Anywho, moving on, number six position, CDM. Um, a lot of talented players in the Premier League, guys. There's a lot of talented players in the Premier League at this position. Um, Kante, obviously, being like up there. Fabinho, Ndidi of, of Leicester. Um, but a team that like came out of nowhere. And if you guys have watched my season predictions, I thought. Um, this team were going to get relegated or at least like fight against relegation um and and that is that is west ham and uh declan ross declan ross is my cdm of the season he's been amazing like like i said west ham were not supposed to be in the position that they're in like not at all and the fact that they they're there is a huge Huge contributions from players all over the field, but uh, a main focal point, a main piece in that team has been Declan Rice. He's been so steady, been amazing, exceptional. He's been exceptional this season and um, fighting for a European place, fighting for top four, definitely not what I had in mind. And it's, it's down to a lot of the West Ham players, but mainly Declan Rice. Um, so yeah, and then moving on further up the field is Kevin De Bruyne. Um, you, he's ha he hasn't had the most remarkable season like he had a few years ago. Last year he was also pretty d decent, producing in a team, in a Man City team that wasn't that great. Um, and yes, this season he, he did get injured for a bit, but he's still been a cog in the, the machine of what Man City is. And he's still produced, a, like, like I say, not at to his consistent best, but he's still produced enough for them to get a Premier League title. Um, so yeah, you can't argue that Kevin De Bruyne is definitely a player of the season, deserves to be in this team. Um, and perhaps the player next to him, Bruno Fernandes, <laughs> um, perhaps you know, he could have pushed him out the team. Um, but I don't think there are many players like Kevin De Bruyne who you could replace him with. That makes sense. But anyway, moving on to Fernandez. I mean, Fernandez. I mean, Goats. Anyway, um, Fernandez does deserve to be in this team of the season. You cannot argue with it. You cannot say anything else. Um, Bruno Fernandez or Fernandez. Um, has been amazing since since coming to United last year January. He has been magnific. No, he he's really been amazing, guys, and um, he is the the heart and soul of this United team. Um, something that we've lacked for the longest time, and he is he's brought that back tenfold. So Fernandez deserves to be in this team. Goals, assists, off the ball playing, every everything. He is just world class. Um, and like I say, he deserves to be in this team. Um, so yeah. And um, before we move on, if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe, click the, the big red button down below. Um, I would appreciate it a lot. So thanks guys. Maybe smash the, the thumbs up button, who knows. Anyway, moving on. The front three. So very controversial front three this. I'm gonna get slaughtered in the comment section. 
you decide to comment. But my front three on the left hand side would probably be Mason Mount. Now, um, Chelsea have had an up and down season and yes, they're in the Champions League final and yes, they're going to be in the FA Cup final and, and so on. You would be like, that's an amazing season. But maybe 10 weeks ago, maybe more, not sure, um, Chelsea's season was looking quite bad. Um, yeah, the, their, their season under Frank Lampard was looking... Nah, it was looking bad. Um, <laughs> but the fact that Tuchel's come in and he's been able to steady the ship and, and you know get them going is, is great. But a consistent player through the good times and the, well, the bad times and now the good times has been Mason Mounds. Um, not going to blow you away with his goal scoring or his assist totals or anything like that, but just his consistency, his his performances. Like, he, he's been really, really, really good this season and um, a perfect way to sum it up would be his goal against Real Madrid to send them to the, the Champions League final. Um, looking like an unplayable player at times. So, for me, left wing is him. There are, there are a lot of shots, guys, for these these front three positions. You could say Jack Grealish. Jack Grealish has been amazing. But, one, he's been injured, like, since February. Two, I don't know, hasn't been, he's been great. He's been he's been amazing, but mm, for me, it's it's just like, Mount's just a little bit above him, um, and it's, Mainly because he's Mount's played more games and been more consistent for longer. So, yeah. Um, moving along to the right hand side. Now, a lot of controversy here as well. You could throw in Son, who's had a lot of goals, a lot of assists, all that stuff. You could throw in Raheem Sterling, who's had a down season for, for thing. You could throw in Mohamed Salah, who's had a lot of goals, but hasn't been good. You know? Like, yes, he scored 20 plus goals this season. And if you go just alone on stats, Salah gets into this team. Just just like that. But I watched a Liverpool game the other day, and they were so bad. Like, they ended up winning, but they were just so, so bad. Um, yeah. So for me, Salah doesn't get into this team, um, and I've gone with Marcus Rashford. Rashford is playing as a right wing and has been for the last while since Pogba has been playing as a left wing. So I've gone with Rashford, he's produced a fair amount this year. Um, definitely stepped up to the expectations and, and smashed them out of the park because he's got goals, got assists, he's done a lot. Um, still a bit inconsistent but I would, I would say that not as much as what he used to be. So good on him, I think he's the, the left wing left wing, the right wing of um, the 2021 season. So just my opinion, obviously this is my team of the year. You don't have to hate me for it. So yeah. Anyway, moving on to our striking position, our final position of the the, 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 the team. And um, I've gone with Harry Kane. Harry Kane goals, assists, world class. He's, he's been amazing and it's, it's quite sad because obviously Tottenham have not had a good season and if they were to finish in the top four and maybe they would have won the, the Carabao Cup and so on, maybe people would recognize that Harry Kane's a lot better than what people think he is, you know? Because he's been very good, guys. Like, our watch does get smacked 6-1 at Old Trafford and Harry Kane that day was amazing. So... Um, yeah, that, that, that is my team of the season, um, and finally, manager of the season, um, it's not a hard choice, really, um, Pep Guardiola, no, I'm playing, I'm playing, it's not Pep, it's not Pep, like, Pep, Pep's won the, the Premier League, and, and he's got the best record, and so on, but it's not Pep, it's David Moyes, they, they were supposed to get relegated, David Moyes is not supposed to be a good coach, he's proved us all wrong, and gone out and said, I'm getting European football. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, um, that is my Premier League team of the season. Um, let me know down below what you think of it. 
Maybe I've left out a few players. Maybe you think Jack Grealish does deserve to be a left, the left wing over Mason Mount or even the right wing over Marcus Rashford. Let me know down below. Smash the like button if you've enjoyed the video and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Bye!